I'm going to show you how play can save you time and money with your Facebook ads. I'm going to show you the results of a Facebook ad and just show you why it may not be good to just trust Facebook algorithm blindly when you're launching your ad campaigns. When we come into this report, we can see that Facebook spent a majority of the budget on this campaign for people who are aged 65 and older. You can see that it has the highest cost per click and one of the lowest click through rates as well. Also, it's driving some of the, lo the lowest performance, but why is Facebook spending a majority of the budget on the 65 plus age group? Now, if you just launch an ad, you might not ever even see this report to see who's actually clicking on your ad. But inside of Play, we have this option to just turn this switch on. Play automatically becomes your personal AI ad manager to just check all of these things for you. Now, when you turn this switch on, this is actually optimizing several factors, but let's just stay with the age range uh, example. It has just automatically removed this age range because it's not performing well for your ad. Why would you be spending a majority of the campaign budget on this group? That shouldn't be happening for anyone. But by just trusting the Facebook algorithm blindly, this is typically what a lot of the times might happen. Play has just updated the age range for this campaign for you. So most of your budget now can just start going to the best performing age ranges for this campaign and for your brand. And it'll keep doing this. It'll keep analyzing performance over the course of your campaign. We'll also work on the location level. So you can see any locations that might not be working well for you, it's automatically going to remove locations. This can also work at the creative level. If we just look at this, this is one of our best performing headlines right here. But this was not something that we added. This is something that with the optimized for me switch turned on, Play will automatically create new headlines, new primary text and descriptions for your ad. So this is one that Play actually created right here. We can come over here and see the new assets. And it's right here. This is the one that Play added. Transform your advertising approach right here. Transform your advertising approach with Play. Play will automatically remove low performing assets and update them with ones that are likely to perform better. Now, one of the other features we launched is special ad category detection. Now, Facebook has been even known to block your ad accounts if you don't even turn on the special ad category. Many clients don't even know what special ad category is or even how to turn it on. So we've added special ad category auto detection. Now, what that means is that you could even type something into your prompt, like mortgage loans, for example, and just tap generate new ad. And just by typing in that prompt, we're automatically going to detect which special which special ad category you might fall into and automatically pre-select it for you. And we'll also include the targeting that might be best for you as well. So you'll come in here, you can see that housing and credit has automatically been turned on. And we just make it very easy because when you're in a special ad category, things like look like audiences aren't allowed, age and gender targeting is not allowed, and certain radius targeting is also not allowed. So this is really just going to help you and your clients out when you're creating your ads and just give you the highest likelihood of success and having your ads run. Now this can work for housing, credit, and it can also work for employment if you're advertising the employment category. If you've noticed this on the left-hand side, this is also uh, our new UI that will be launching very soon um, where you'll be able to even uh, schedule your ads, set a start date, end date, and it just makes everything a lot cleaner and simpler. For example, if you come in here, you could just change your goal out right here to even phone calls, just tap save. And you'll notice this section right here change. Just depending on your goal, this will change out what part of the ad you might need to fill out right here. So this is this will be coming very soon as well. Now, what we've also added is audience and location exclusion. And now if you want to exclude people who've already signed up or purchased from you from your campaigns, you can just tap this and select that audience to exclude past purchasers from your campaigns. We've also added this at the location level. So you can just turn the switch on and now you can exclude by locations if you want to. Now, what we've also done is just really improve the targeting for your Facebook ads as well. So we have taken to the next level as far as really understanding the context of your brand and who you want to reach. Um, also, just based on your prompt. So, for example, if you just type in something like karate lessons and just generate this ad. Now, what we've done here is that it's not just reaching people like Facebook. If you go into Facebook ads, they're just going to recommend, you know, karate, UFC, things like that. But who's actually going to be most likely to purchase these karate lessons is parents for this example. So we've actually just done this for you. You can also tap related targeting. If you actually do more advanced karate lessons, you might want to choose this, some of these options. But we've actually just come in here and we've just recommended things like parents. That's actually who a lot of karate classes and dojos, I believe that's the right term who they want to target is actually parents because they're the people who are actually purchasing uh, the classes for their kids. Now, this applies to even 
teeth cleaning, for example, you don't want to target people who are just interested in Colgate uh, or well, some of the other toothpaste brands. You want to actually be targeting parents. So we've done a lot of work on actually understanding the concept of your prompt, of your brand, and who you want to target. And now it's just built into the platform. So even if you uh, type in something like roofer, for example, like, or we could type in something like roof repairs and generate this new ad. Getting the entire ad for you by just typing in roof repairs. We are partnered with Shutterstock, so you can use any of these images or videos free of charge. We take on the cost. So by just adding that prompt, we can see that actually who you want to be targeting is more like homeowners. So we've actually selected people who are likely to own a home. Facebook doesn't actually have targeting for people who own a home. There's nothing like that to select inside of Facebook. So we've actually built this audience out of people who are likely to own homes. You can always edit this as you see fit. But this is something how we're going beyond to just better understand the concept of your brand, the context, and who you actually want to be targeting. So with that, there's a lot more features that we're launching. We can't wait to bring them to you. Uh, we'll see you at the Go High Level Conference as well in a few weeks. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.